March Madness 2021 officially starts on Thursday, March 18th with the first four. And then the first round starts on Friday, and then we'll get two and a half weeks of following our NCAA brackets until the NCAA championship on April 5th. You can watch all 67 games on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV, and the five services that have all four of these channels are YouTube TV, Xfinity, Dish, at and TV, and Direct TV. Before we get into the details of all of these services, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any TV and streaming news. Number one, YouTube TV. YouTube TV is best for your March Madness watching because it has all four channels, and it's also my favorite live TV streaming service in the industry. Why? Well, it has a great dollar channel ratio, you'll get major sports networks like NFL Network and NBA TV, you'll get family favorites, and you'll get an unlimited DVR storage space. And YouTube TV offers NBA League Pass for 40 bucks per month. So after you enjoy all of March Madness to see how far Baylor, Gonzaga, Ohio State, or Michigan gets, you can keep enjoying the benefits of YouTube TV. Number two, Xfinity. Xfinity will be your best cable TV option for watching March Madness games while working from home. And this time, you won't have to worry about your boss catching you in the act. You have two package options with Xfinity. You have Extra and Digital Starter. Extra is $20 cheaper because it requires you to sign a one-year contract. And if you wanna be a free agent, get Digital Starter. And besides the four essential channels for March Madness watching, you'll get a total of eight sports channels, including Pac-12 Network and ESPN. Number three, if you're considering satellite TV, I recommend Dish over Direct TV for your March Madness watching because Dish doesn't have those second year price hikes. You can choose from any of its four plans to get the four channels for March Madness, so you just have to decide which plan is best for you but I will recommend America's Top 200 because you'll get over 30 sports channels, including family favorites like HGTV and Disney Channel. We'll have a link in the description below to help you choose a plan to keep after the madness of March Madness is over. Number four, at and TV. at and TV is my second live TV streaming option, and if you like NCAA basketball and premium channels, you'll like at and TV. This live TV streaming service has all four channels airing March Madness games in all of its plans. So like Dish, you'll just have to decide which plan you want to keep for after the event is over. But when you get choice and above, you'll get a free one-year subscription to HBO Max and three free months of Epics, Stars, Showtime, and Cinemax. As far as pricing, at and TV is a streamable version of DirecTV, so it has those second-year price hikes. Or so I thought until a consumer reached out to me and brought to my attention that at and TV has no contract options. And I came to find out you actually don't save all that much money over the two years of your two-year contract. So paying that 10 to 30 bucks extra per month without a contract is actually what I'd recommend. Another streaming option is the March Madness Live app or website, but you'll just have to sign in with your TV provider login. This could be Dish or Xfinity, and then you'll get all of the live games straight to your tablet or smartphone. Number five. Direct TV. Direct TV is for the March Madness and NFL fans. And all of Direct TV's plans have all four channels you'll need for the month of March, so you'll just have to decide which plan is best for you after March Madness comes to an end. I recommend getting the choice package or above if you want a free season subscription to NFL Sunday Ticket. What's NFL Sunday Ticket, you ask? Well, it's a subscription to get all out of market NFL games during the regular season. So if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan who lives in Salt Lake City and you want to watch all of the full regular season games, you're going to want this ticket. And it's the only provider that gives you this type of sports coverage. So enjoy college basketball now and professional football later on in the year. So which TV provider should you get? All of these services I mentioned have CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV, the four channels you need for NCAA's biggest event. But if you want to consider the benefits for after March Madness is over, these are the reasons why you should get each of these. YouTube TV has the best dollar channel ratio with 85 channels for 65 bucks, and you'll get an unlimited DVR storage space so you can record all of March Madness games if you'd like. Xfinity is the best cable TV option because it is the most widely available across the US and you'll get 140 channels for 50 bucks for your first year. Dish is the most inexpensive satellite TV option with giving you over 30 sports channels and over 200 total channels 
for 90 bucks per month. AT&T TV will give you free subscriptions to premium channels and don't forget, I recommend the no contract option. And the last service, DirecTV, has those second year price hikes but you'll love the satellite TV option if you want access to all of the out of market NFL games with NFL Sunday ticket. Anyways, I hope your bracketology is on point, you take home the money pot, and I hope I helped all of you March Madness watchers, and if I did, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video with us.